plug your nose. There you go. Did that hurt to do? No. No, okay. So what you've got is a, a, a foggy, somewhat milky eardrum, and that, uh, that probably means that, uh, that there's been some torque and, and tension across it. I bet if you start pressurizing earlier, pre-pressurizing and keeping the pressure on your ears uh, all the way down, there's a, there might be a better chance for you to, e to get there without, um, without uh, trauma. H have you tried that? What technique do you use? Um, everything I can. You know, the pressure, the tongue back and forth. Okay. So show me how to bob your Adam's apple. Plug your nose and l let's... Okay, well your Adam's apple's bobbing, but, your, but air is not flowing into your nose, so we still have to work on that. So when you get home, you want to watch that, watch your nose, try to inflate it with, uh, by bobbing the Adam's apple, and, and I bet that technique will work better for you. I did have a lot of ear problems as a child. Uh-huh. So. I, um, I do see uh, individuals who've had problems as a child having a little bit more trouble. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> why don't you tell me what's, what uh, well, is wrong? I had ear problems as a child. I've been motion sick my whole life. Um, I have trouble equalizing, but I usually can. But the thing that disturbs me the most is the last couple of times I've dived, I've had really bad vertigo attacks. And oh. That's sort of been very unpleasant. And then they've reoccurred subsequently a week or two after I, I went see. diving. Do you have one ear that will equalize or easier than another? I couldn't, couldn't tell you. Sometimes it may be one, sometimes it may be the other. I don't have one that I feel is. Okay. Um, when does the vertigo, vertigo means, of course, ma means a very intense dizziness. And uh, when does that vertigo occur? Is it in the middle of a dive or when you come up? No, it's, it's in the middle of a dive. I will have gotten pressurized. I'm down there. I'm loving the view. And then all of a sudden, bam. Whammo, huh? Yeah. Okay, well let's take a look. We'll do one side at a time. Be sure and tell me if I hurt you, okay? Now, um, I always say that because sometimes the little tip on this will, uh, will dig into the uh, uh, external canal. Um, so here we see what looks like normal eardrum. Uh, there's, again, the, the eardrum and the malleus and, uh, and you can't quite see through it. Why don't you uh, try, try pressurizing for me? Inflate your mitt. There we go. That wasn't hard to do. Did the other side pressurize as yeah. well? Hmm. Okay. Let's try again. We'll pressurize. Okay. Well, right now everything's working just fine. But when I hear about people who have problems with vertigo at depth, it usually means that one side is pressurizing and the other side is not. We call that alternobaric vertigo, and the cochlea, the semicircular canal, doesn't like it. When one side's pressurized and the other isn't, or one side has cold water and the other doesn't, the uh, asymmetry of the signal to the brain will confuse your balance and it, can, and it makes you spin around. And so, uh, again, this is a problem which I believe uh, is related to uh, equalization effort. And I, I bet if you tried pressurizing more uh, earlier and more aggressively on the way down, it's possible that you could get rid of this. Um, so there are other problems that uh, can occur. And if that doesn't work, why don't you call me, OK? You've been a wonderful audience. And I, I've enjoyed this. This is, this is uh, not only a hobby, but it's something I use in my practice every day to uh, help divers learn how to protect their ears. And, um, and uh, I just want to say thank you for coming today and uh, uh, visit my website. And uh, thank you very much. <laughs>